back to the very interesting thing about choosing the best slug. So today I'm back at the 100 meter range. Today I'm going to shoot the javelins in 23 grain, 26 grain, 30 grain. And I'm also going to shoot the JSB knockouts all at 100 meters or 110 yards. The wind is gusting. It's coming in between the trees. So I don't expect too much at this stage, but let's see what happens. I shot the H and N's in almost the same type of conditions. Let's have a go. What a lovely day to be shooting. Well, any day is a lovely day to be shooting. The wind is still blowing. It's about 10 to 12 kilometers per hour, about 8 miles an hour, but it's gusting. It's coming through the lanes left, right, left, right. So I'm aiming more for the correct height on the pallets than uh, windage at this stage. But I must admit the slugs are performing excellent today. All right, so next up, I'm going to shoot the javelins. 23 grains in 217. Just a few sighters again, and then we're gonna do it. Okay, javelins, 23 grains, power setting four, running about 990 feet a second, and we're gonna go for 10 shots, top left. all over the place the grouping was quite tight except for two wayward shots to the right and to the bottom overall grouping 3.3 inches not that great but if we only look at the height 2.2 so that shows a little bit more consistency let's see what the 218s do right javelins 23 grainers 218s 100 meters 10 shots The nice things about slug is their resistance to wind. I was aiming dead straight here when I hit the same or tried to hit the same target with the 16 grainers. I had to aim three mill dots to the right to compensate for the wind. I know the javelins are a lot better than my shooting currently, so let's go over to the 26 grain babies and see what they do. All right, javelins, 26 grainers, 217s, 100 meters, 10 shots. Man, oh man, if it wasn't for those two high shots, that would have been the perfect line across the wind. The 26 grainers are a heck of a lot better in the wind. It has not affected that much. And the height consistency was quite impressive, as I said, except for those two little babies on top, but that can be me as well. Overall, not too bad. Okay, javelins, 218s, 10 shots, 100 meters. We'll have to go measure again. I think it's fair to say that my gun doesn't like the 218s at all. That's a much bigger grouping and not acceptable in my standards. So, time to go over to the 30 grainers and see if there's an improvement there. Let's go for it. Right, 30 grainers, they're running a bit slow at 930 feet a second, but let's give it a go in any case. The wind is really pushing me off the table and I've got flies and gum all over me. Ah. Alright, that's a much better grouping than I had with the 218s in the 26 grain division. This looks a bit more promising. Um, let's see what the 218s do. 218s, let's try this. Okay, 
Okay, interesting. And then, when I thought I saw it all, my gun all of a sudden decides to group with 218s. And this is probably the best grouping I've shot today with the javelins. At just under 2 inches, I can live with this. Maybe the 30 grainers is the way to go. Time to wrap up. If I look back at today's shooting, the javelins grouped or rightish, not the best grouping I've ever seen at 100 meters, not by a country mile. But maybe if I tweak the speed a little bit, I will get better results. Well, that's what it's all about. Timing, exploring and having fun. I did some expansion tests with the javelins in a later video. You might want to go and have a look at that at uh, how to choose a slug. And the javelins are awesome when it comes to expansion. Maybe if I can get them to group a little bit tighter, we might have a winner on our hands. That's all, folks.